everyone, welcome back to another clean and declutter with me. So today's decluttering video is gonna start with some clothing decluttering. Today I am taking a subscriber's advice, so I will leave their comment right here on the screen. I believe I took a screenshot of it, I hope I did, because it's gonna be hard to find. <laughs> but anyway, she basically said to pull all the clothes out of your closet, sort by color and season, and then go through them and declutter them. She said you'll be surprised how many of the same color shirts and styles you have and it'll be a lot easier to declutter that way versus trying to go through the hangers like I was doing in my like a couple videos ago. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna lay everything out in my bed so we can see what I got. I'm gonna try to sort through them by color and season which to be honest with you, I don't really have that much seasonal um, clothes because I live in Florida. It's like hot all year round. I mean, occasionally we get a cold day, but I usually just throw on like a cardigan or like a simple jacket. Um, and then I wear like long sleeves in like the winter and spring, but it's really not that cold. So I don't have a whole lot of seasonal um, clothing, but let's see what we can get rid of today. All right, so here are all the clothes all laid out on the bed. I'm going to go ahead and start sorting through them by season first, and then I will go through and sort them by color. I'm going to try my best to not get these hangers all tangled up because then it will be a nightmare. <laughs> so we'll just, I'm going to do the best I can. Before we get any further into today's video, I wanted to introduce you to my friend Carla. Her channel name is Carla Sweet Life, and I will have it linked below so it's easy to find. She is also sharing, yes baby, she is sharing a clean and declutter with me as well. And between the two of our videos, you will get lots of motivation today. So please don't forget to subscribe to her channel. Let her know that I sent you over. You will not regret it. She is literally the sweetest person ever. I am so honored to be collabing with her today. So thank you guys so much for watching our videos today. I hope you get lots of motivation and enjoy them. And if you're new here from Carla's channel, thank you so much for stopping by. I do post weekly here on my cleaning channel. I do a lot of cleaning, decluttering, and organizing motivation. I post once a week, and it's usually either Saturday or Sunday, so you can expect some good cleaning motivation. I always try to keep it really fun and just real life. So um, make sure you leave a comment below and let me know if you're new here today so I can say hello. Okay, so um, let's talk about the piles here. <laughs> So this whole pile is all like short sleeve shirts. Look at all that. That is ridiculous. I swear to you guys, I might wear these shirts like once in a blue moon, but I don't wear all these often. So I'm going to try to go through those. Um, oh my gosh, this is crazy. To be honest with you, I did not realize how many long sleeve shirts I had. This is all long sleeve shirts that I never wear. I mean, I wear some of them. It's a lot. I wear some of them. Um, but, yeah, what I'm going to do is, oh, and then these are all tank tops that I just have on hangers. And that's, like, super messy. I need to declutter those, too. So I'm going to start with the short sleeve stuff first, go through these, and really just try my best. Um, I don't really know what my goal is today. I'm not really, like, setting like a certain amount. I would like to get rid of a lot of it, but I'm not going to be too hard on myself because decluttering takes time. So don't, don't force yourself into something because then you'll regret it later. And I don't want you guys to do that. So, um, yeah. Am I going to get rid of any of these? Okay. I don't really like the way that that looks. I'm going to use these as painting shirts. I think I wear that shirt all the time. This is workout clothes. I'm going to put those separate because like my workout clothes that sometimes I wear during like cleaning. So I'll put those over there. Yeah. 
You can't be up there. I'm trying to go through my clothes. No, that's a bad spot. Zoe, over there. Come right here. Right there, right down. There you go. No, right there. No, back up. Right there. Yeah, off my clothes. Don't get on my clothes. Thank you. You're so pretty. No, lay right there. Oh my god. She's so nosy. I love her. Oh my. Seriously, she just messed up everything at work so far. Okay. <clears throat> So I just ate dinner. We ended up having Pizza Hut for dinner. But this is where I'm at so far. So I have all the clothes over there on that side that I have not wore in so long. Um, I just put them over there just to get them out of the way. These are jeans that need to be folded and put in my drawer. Um, and workout clothes. Um, I need to go through my tank tops. And then I'm going to go through these one more time. But I'm making good progress. So... I got two of the <clears throat> I got two of these jackets. So I have this one and this one. They are literally the same thing except for this one. It's inside out. Let me fix this. I'm so bad about that. <laughs> I will put my clothes on the hanger inside out because I'm too lazy to fix it. It's a struggle. Okay. So we have this one. See how it has like the white little stripes? And this one has a front pocket and crisscrossing detail. And then this one's also inside out, but it's just plain black with a tie here. And they both have ties, actually. So I'm going to try both of these on, see which one fits me better now, and which one I like better. I'm going to get rid of the other one. <clears throat> okay, so I chose to keep the plain black one just because it fits a lot better. This one's actually very tight on me. Um, so I will give this one to my sister-in-law and I know that it will fit her better she's got like a little like small she's like just smaller framed and it's brand new I literally took the tags off and washed it it was a gift to me for Christmas but unfortunately it's just a tad too small for me right now um, and I'd rather give it to her and let her wear it and get good use out of it while it's still chilly out um, here we got a long sleeve black shirt which is a staple so something else that determined whether or not I was going to keep the piece of clothing or not was if it was a basic staple or not, like if it was something that I could wear with any pair of jeans, any pair of shorts and make it look okay. Um, I am really trying hard to be like, have more of like a capsule wardrobe. It's definitely gonna take some time, but that is my ultimate goal. tank tops nobody nobody okay. all right okay i'm just gonna like put them on the same hanger if i think i want to keep them wait it's probably a bad idea let me take them off the hanger i don't know what i'm doing <laughs> Fun, but now I'm into deep into this flow. A zero sum game that I will lose. There's no zipping past it. Every time you walk away from me, I want you. All right, y'all. So these are long sleeves right here. So that's what I got up here. I have all of my black shirts. That's what I pretty much wear all the time. This is the newest one that I got. So those are my black shirts. I have all my like army green color, my tan, gray, and then I have colors and then all my tank tops there. So I think I did a really great job compared to like what all was there and check it out. All of this stuff is being decluttered. Isn't that insane? which this shirt right here is my mom's. I'm just going to give that back to her. Um, I've kind of wore it quite a bit lately, so I need a break from it. So I'm going to give that back to her, and then if I ever want to wear it, I can get it back. But um, yeah, I'm super happy with what I've been able to accomplish. 
In a video coming up this week on my main channel, Carrie Lynn, I will have a bedroom switch I'm going to be sharing. So that is going to be a pretty motivational video. But during the filming of this, there was a few areas that really needed some good cleaning. Number one was this area where I had some carpet tape down and it got filthy. Oh my gosh, it's so disturbing. And I could not get it off. So I took some oven cleaner and with a little bit of elbow grease, I finally got this nasty tape up. to tell the truth no one else can see you like i do all you ever do is say how far you wanna go baby i can tell it's just for sure every line designed to let All right, so the next day, this was the aftermath of the bedroom switch. There was a lot of things that my husband wasn't sure where to put these things. And by the way, he did end up finishing the last half of everything um, because I had somewhere to be. And he just kind of piled everything up right here that he was unsure of what to do with. So here I'm trying to explain to you guys that I'm just sorting through all of this stuff and I'm gonna try my best to declutter and put things where they need to go. All right, so I wanted to share with you guys um, kind of like how I was feeling in this moment because um, I actually get a lot of comments about this, like how do I get motivated? And today was one of those days where I was super unmotivated. I did not want to do this at all. Um, I actually didn't get started until, it was about 2.30 I believe in the afternoon before I got started here. And that is because I literally walked around my house looking at everything and just feeling like, oh my gosh, this is too much stuff. I've got too much to do. I also had some errands to run that morning. And um, something I tend to do whenever I'm stressed is run away. <laughs> um, if my house is a mess, I will be the first one to be like, let's go to the park. Let's leave. Like, I don't want to be here right now. We'll tackle this later. So I will like literally leave my house when it's a mess like this. And I know some of you are like, I could never. But Whenever I get into that mind, like that mindset of just feeling completely lost and don't know where to begin, my initial thought is like, just don't look at it. Walk away and tackle it when you're ready. So this day we went to the park. I had to take my daughter to a doctor's appointment. And then um, when we got back, I kind of just looked at everything and was just like, oh my gosh, why, why am I so stressed? Why am I so overwhelmed? And the reason I was so overwhelmed and stressed was because not only did I have clutter everywhere, but my house needed to, be, my floors needed to be mopped. My dishes need to be done. My anxiety and my like stress was coming from my house being untidy. So I'm like, okay. If I want to feel good, then I need to get this tackled. Whether I want to or not, you just need to like get it done. And sometimes it takes so much discipline to do it, but trust me, it is totally worth it um, if you just get up and get started. So if you're struggling today, like right now, and you have things to do as hard as it is, just get up and start working on it. Once you get going, usually you kind of just naturally develop the energy to get it all done. So you got this girl, uh, just play something that you enjoy watching on the TV, turn on some music, talk to a friend, whatever it is that kind of helps distract you from the, like the chores you don't want to do, do that. And next thing you know, you will be completely done. And I promise you, you will feel so much better. Felt I'm done with the defense, drove back and climbed over your 
defense had to show show you that i was a mess so you were shrugging your shoulders and close stuff that's what i told you soon enough everything started to change cause there's no going back no going back there's no going back to your own to clean off the kitchen island and the countertops, I'm just using the Mrs. Myers cleaner and the honeysuckle scent. I picked this up on clearance. I believe I got it from Lowe's and I have loved this scent ever since. It's the only scent that I like, but I still haven't ordered any and I'm almost out. Oh, I don't know. I really like it, but I don't like buying cleaners because they're so expensive. I feel like you can get a cleaner from the Dollar Tree that works just as good. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. I might order some because I just love the smell of it. Um, but I cannot find it in store anymore because I don't know if they just like discontinued the scent for the season or something. But Publix doesn't sell it anymore and neither does Lowe's. And I believe that it's Target that sells the Mrs. Myers products. I could be wrong, but if it is, I don't have a Target near me. So I don't know. Maybe I'll never get some again. I just need to order it. I'm just so bad at ordering online. I don't like ordering online. I want it like now. <laughs> um, but I'm just taking my Bissell Crosswave and going to quickly vacuum up the floors. This thing has been a game changer. Seriously, best thing I've ever purchased ever in my life. And it was a birthday gift, by the way, by my husband. But um, because I wanted it. It's not that he just went out and bought me a vacuum. I really wanted it to make my life easier and it has definitely done that. And I usually just use the cleaner that it comes with. Um, it has, I believe it's the Bissell Pet, but I like the Febreze scent. Um, I think it's the Fresh Clean scent. It smells so good and it lingers for a while and it just smells like you literally deep cleaned your whole house. I'm just obsessed with this thing. I'm not kidding you guys. I use this every single day. All right, so moving on to the third day of this clean and declutter. I am now working on my pantry today. I wanted to mention that it was the third day because I know sometimes on these videos, it seems like they get it all done in one day, but the truth is things like this definitely take time. So trust me, you're not alone. There's no way I can get all this done in one day. All right, so for the pantry today, what I'm gonna focus on is just getting the areas wiped down that need it. I'm also going to kind of just go through anything, get rid of anything that's old or expired and reorganize. But in this time, instead of going for Pinterest worthy, I'm going for functional. Um, I briefly shared this in, I think it was a vlog that I talked about how I tried the whole like canister thing and putting the cereals and making it all pretty. And while it looked really great for like a few weeks it just did not work out sometimes it's just easier to leave things in a box and it's just more convenient that way honestly it was just an extra chore that I couldn't keep up with so I decided to focus more on things that are more functional for us and not worry if it looks good or not because at the end of the day does that even really matter those cabinet doors shut and nobody's gonna see it but us except for like when I show you guys but Y'all are the only ones who see it. I mean, a couple thousand of you, it's fine. <laughs> I don't care. I mean, I care, but I don't care at the same time. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's real. Like, everyone eats food, and it doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be aesthetically pleasing. So if you don't have, like, a fancy pantry, like, with all the bins, don't even worry about it. Don't even, like, bother. Because if you're anything like me and you can't keep up with something, don't keep, don't even bother spending money on it because you're not going to be able to keep up with it. Um well, I don't know what you're going to be able to do. I'm just saying I couldn't keep up with it. And I just feel like I most likely wasted money buying those containers. And I wish I wouldn't have. I wish I would have just kept the stuff in its boxes. But you know, the thing is too, there are some things that work out really well in those canisters. So like my flour and sugar, you know, cause those, those uh, packages are not they don't seal properly. So I don't mind pouring like that type of stuff in the bins. But as far as like cereals that we eat up within a week, it's just not worth it. Then I end up having to wash the container every time. And it's just to me added chores that I don't want. So Anyway, moving on, I'm going to go through all of the school supplies and arts and crafts. This stuff gets used daily, so as you can see, it is always a mess. Um, so I'm just going to quickly sort through this stuff and reorganize it so that way it's a little bit more functional and also looks a lot nicer.
this type of stuff, I usually keep it by category. So I do all the educational books in one bin, all of the like loose papers, things that the kids draw on, and their markers in one bin. I do Play-Doh, and then I also have a painting bin that also has like beads for making bracelets and stuff like that. So that's just kind of how I sort, at, sort it out, and that's what works best for us. Um, but it's still, I mean, I, I promise you guys, within a week or two, it's going to be messy again. I just have to try to keep up with it every month. I try to do like a, a quick little organize and purge and it always feels a lot better when I can get in those bins and find what we're looking for because sometimes whenever the kids are like can I draw <laughs> I'm like oh man we're fixing to have an avalanche come out of that cabinet all right so here's a quick before of how all the arts and crafts stuff looked um, and this is what it looks like now so you can see it looks so much nicer a lot more organized and decluttered which just makes me so happy <laughs> to look at um, <laughs> I just like it when things are finished I don't like doing it but when it's done it always feels good um, but now I'm gonna go ahead and try to fit all this stuff up here in the cabinets and you'll notice that I need a little bit more space to be honest with you as far as like our arts and crafts stuff goes and I do have a plan for this stuff eventually. Right now it works best in this pantry because it's something that is hard to reach so it means that mommy has to get it down which is really nice but at some point I will end up needing a little bit more space for this type of stuff. Um, because I still, at this point, I was like, oh man, I still have one more basket. So how am I going to fit all this stuff? So I ended up just laying the board game down and the blocks down sideways. That way I could fit everything. Like I said, it's a little crammed, but it's just what's working right now. And as long as it functions and everything fits, I'm okay with it. I can still get the bins down okay. Um, I just have to get a chair because I'm so short. But that is going to be it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video gave you lots and lots of motivation. And don't forget to check out Carla's channel. Like I said, it will be linked down below in the description box so it's easy to find. Let her know that I sent you over. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, y'all.